My name is Parul Samani. I am 34 years old and I'm the proud mother of two beautiful young daughters. I'm also a BRCA1 carrier and a breast cancer warrior. I have a very long relationship with cancer. My mother was diagnosed with breast cancer in her early 30s. When I was 29 years old, I got genetic testing done to find out my own risk of cancer. And it was at that time that I found out that I am positive for a mutation in the BRCA1 gene, putting me at, at a much higher lifetime risk of cancer. When I then met with my doctor, she shared options with me about what I can actually do about it. And that felt really empowering. What she said is that I can start uh, MRIs and mammograms every six months. And that was actually really important because at 29 years old, I would not have otherwise qualified to be getting mammograms and MRIs. But as a BRCA1 carrier, I you know, should have already been <laughs> getting them. Fast forward a couple of years when I was 31 years old, I was actually 38 weeks pregnant with my second daughter. And I remember lying in the hospital bed for an ultrasound and rubbed my chest and, and at the time felt a lump. Immediately went to my OBGYN uh, to get her opinion and she agreed that well, because of my family history, because of my genetic test results, that uh, we should probably go ahead and get an ultrasound done. My water then broke two days later, uh, and my daughter arrived two weeks early. In my hospital gown, still unable to walk from my C-section, uh, my husband wheelchairs me over to the breast clinic for uh, an ultrasound and biopsy. At five days old, actually, we were, we were able to come home, and it was such a joyous time because my parents were here helping. Thea was loving having this little sister home and, and everything was honestly just really great. And it was uh, June 14th, which was actually the weekend of Father's Day. It was during that time that I got the phone call from the doctor. When I got off the phone with the doctor, I turned back to my mom and I told her, it's breast cancer. And I just immediately dropped my face into my hands and just started bawling. And I, it's like so vivid in my mind. Like I remember, I remember everything about, about that day. My husband was now hearing from his wife who is 31 years old, that she has breast cancer. And his own birth mom had passed away when she was 31 years old of breast cancer. She held my hand and said, um, I have breast cancer. Right away, my mind started racing and what this meant. And, you know, Paul and I have two little girls and it's very scary raising two little girls. And uh, she's such an incredible role model for us that I could not fathom um, doing that without her. I said, Paru, don't worry about kids and home and family. Mira, I take care of her. Dia is a big sister. We can manage everything. You just focus on your health. My mom was the mother to Mira that I couldn't be at that time. I started a blog that documented my entire journey from pre-diagnosis through treatments and, and through surgeries and until I was cleared of cancer. In my wife's case we didn't necessarily share it with a lot of people and in my daughter's case she shared it with the world. I know the genetic testing saved my life and if there was an opportunity to be able to apply my skills in a professional setting to empower others with this information and maybe create someone else's own survivor story, that seemed like a mission that had suddenly found me. And I couldn't imagine doing anything else at that point. I work for Color, which is a preventive health service that helps one understand their risk for hereditary cancers. When I first learned about what color does, it just so strongly resonated with something that I could be passionate about. Sometimes you go seek out a mission, and sometimes a mission finds you. 
Thankfully, everything turned out well. We are going to be fine. And we are both fine. She takes care of me. And she dances with me. She loves me. <laughs>